Yo, are we getting the All Might versus Nomu fight remade through Deku versus Chisaki? Because remember way back when, when All Might was punching Nomu so fast and so hard, his body's regeneration abilities couldn't keep up with it. And that's what it seems like Deku is planning here. He says the one for all at 100% its speed should be faster than Chisaki's Re reassembly abilities and that is man that's a nice throwback although Deku is going the fuck in this chapter I don't think the last panel of this chapter when he punches the shit out of him I don't think that's the final blow simply because this arc seems to be more about Chisaki and Eri's relationship I think Eri is going to come in to play way more than she is now I mean she's a tremendous help she's allowing our boy Deku to go 100% without worrying about too much but I think she's going to do something a little bit more, and I'll get to that in a second. But let me talk about Chisaki's motives. It is kind of it kind of disappointing to me that his motive is that of a cliche shonen villain. Like, hey, this world is wrong. I'm doing what I have to right it. And what he's trying to do is use Eddie's power to revert everyone back to before quirks were, you know, the normal. So they can go back to being normal human beings before the mutation or whatever. Personally, if I had superpowers and someone tried to take them away from me just because he thought the world was wrong because of it, I would whoop his ass. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about this guy having almost the exact same motives as the hero killer. I mean, granted, this new string of crimes came from the hero killer's actions, but just the fact that, that Chisaki has such a cliche ass motive you know, right the wrong in the world. It's like, come on, man. I mean, Chisaki is a great villain, don't get me wrong. I love his design, I love his abilities, I love everything about him. He looks super cool, and I'm loving what he's doing in this fight. But just as far as his motives, I wish it was something a little bit more than just reverting everyone back to quirkless humans. But that's one small gripe against an amazing arc. I'm loving this fight so far. It's amazing. Like, seeing Deku go in harder than he ever has before, and seeing Chisaki just give his all, trying to get this girl back. And it's fucked up how he's using her. Like, he's using her just like like she's a tool. She's a freaking human being, dude. You are an asshole. What I meant by when I said earlier, I think Aerie is going to play a bigger part in this. Maybe uh, Deku gets... Uh, overwhelmed for some reason or maybe since she can't control her abilities she starts reverting his body back to the point where he could use one for all effectively or something and he can't fight and there's no one else in the immediate area that can take down this guy so she pretends to go back to Chisaki and she holds on to him and then she reverts his body to the point where his mutation isn't active so maybe he can't reassemble or disassemble anything anymore but I'm calling it right now if Deku did not just destroy Chisaki with those punches that he just did Eri is going to come in and have to finish the job it sounds hilarious because we know that Deku is way stronger physically than Eri but her ability can actually help out this fight a lot like just imagine if she you know grabs onto him and she nullifies his you know uh, assembly and disassembly abilities he, you know, he'll be a pushover then, Deku can knock him the fuck out. So that's what I think is going to happen. Although this plan that Deku has about punching him so fast that he won't be able to reassemble himself, I, I think, you know, it's going to do some major damage to him, but I don't think it's going to be the thing to take him out. I think Aerie is going to have to step in and cancel or nullify uh, his quirk. So let's all talk about the elephant in the room, shall we? The end of this chapter. That could have foreshadowed many, many things. How Night Eye says that he actually saw a vision of Deku dying, you know, in this fight or whatever. And he was asked, are you sure he's going to die in this fight? Because it looks like he's whooping ass. And how Night Eye looked at the end, it looks like he's like, whoa, maybe this guy did change fate. Maybe he did change my unchangeable visions. But then again, it could also mean that this wasn't how I saw him dying. So maybe he actually defeats Chisaki but Eri, you know, reverts him to nothing like, you know, she has done before to other people. So that that's still a factor. We, we know that Chisaki is getting his ass whooped as of right now. You know, anything can really happen. But Deku still has a little girl on his back that he knows can't control her power. She knows she can't control her power. So she might end up doing more harm to him than Chisaki had. Although we all know Deku is not going to die now or anytime soon if he does in this series. 
Aerie is still a factor. Like, she's still on his back. She still doesn't have perfect control of her abilities. So she may go overboard and revert him to a point where maybe his muscles aren't strong enough to even support one for all. Like, way back at the beginning of the series. Maybe she makes him younger or some shit. Like, on some Dragon Ball GT shit. I don't know. But there are a few things that I want to see Deku do if this fight is not over since... As soon as he uses 100%, he's basically reverted back to a time where he wasn't hurt. I want to see him do, this may be me just being completely, completely fangirling, but I really want to see him do the United States of Smash. We have to see that awesome ass punch one more time in this series but i'm pretty sure we're going to see that technique at least one more time because it was such a huge chapter and the author he knows it so i'm pretty sure that's going to pop up again i don't know if it's going to be in this fight but now will be the perfect time for deku to unleash that savage ass punch since he has eerie on his back right now so tell me what you guys thought about this chapter what do you think about deku being able to go in at 100 percent with little to no drawbacks right now and do you think this deku versus chisaki fight is over i personally think airy is going to play a bigger part maybe like i said she grabs hold of him and reverts him to the point where his mutation isn't active maybe she turns him to a kid maybe she reverts him to nothing but i don't think this is over just yet but tell me what you guys think down below and it's unfortunate that we have a, a week break i think one or two week break uh uh correct me if i'm wrong down below but i think it is just a week break but so no chapter next week we have to wait two weeks hopefully this will get resolved and we'll get some epic epic shit next chapter but anyway tell me what you guys thought this has been jb dutch yeah like comment subscribe and i'm out